Every minute, about two people in the U.S. die from COVID-19. Across the country, hospitals are strained and workers are exhausted. I've been here 21 years and I've seen more people pass away in the past week, in the past couple weeks really, than I almost like a combined in all of my career as a nurse. It's been really hard physically and emotionally. This weekend, California hit a record of nearly 700 people dying in one day and 30,000 deaths since the pandemic started nearly a year ago. The rush is underway to get more people protected with vaccinations quickly. I would strongly encourage that we move forward with um, uh, giving states the, the opportunity to be uh, more expansive uh, in, in who they can give the vaccine to, particularly as more supplies become available. Monday marks the last day for testing at Dodger Stadium, the nation's largest COVID-19 testing site, as the city of Los Angeles pivots to mass vaccinations. Stadiums across the country are being converted to vaccine sites. In the Midwest, a convention center that handled election recounts a month ago is now being set up for Moderna and Pfizer shots. We are going to see dramatic increases in the number of um, dosages that we receive. New York is opening 15 vaccine sites this week. Some open 24 seven as the state expands its COVID-19 vaccine program. This is how to get shots into arms as quickly as possible. Over the next few days and weeks, pop-up sites at school buildings and other locations in New York City will join the list of vaccination sites in the city. We are well on pace to hit 100,000 vaccinations this week, this week, next week we're going to go a lot farther. We are definitely on pace to hit our million vaccinations for the month of January. President-elect Joe Biden has promised to distribute even more doses instead of holding back some vials for the second booster dose, as the Trump administration has done. That plan could have its own downside, though, if not enough second doses are available and people have to wait to get them. Give me the one dose and uh, delaying the second dose beyond what was uh, uh, discovered in the clinical trials, we take a risk of those individuals not uh, necessarily being protected sufficiently. For Newsy, I'm Lindsay Thies.